Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White. Last time, we earned our first gym badge, the Trio Badge, here at the Striaton City Pokemon Gym. And now, we're apparently meeting Fennel! Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please, follow me. Okay, I was I was gonna make my way to the next route, maybe to the next city, but okay, we, we're taking a detour. You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. Whoa, whoa, Fennel, we just met! Woman, you know what you want, but I'm not ready for this! My room is upstairs here. Come on, go upstairs. Listen, lady, I, I'm flattered, trust me, I'm flattered, like no girl has ever said this to me before, but come on! We just met, at least buy me dinner first! Or not! Okay, kids, avert your eyes! Like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I am a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. And we obtained HMO1 Cut! There are some moves that a Pokemon can use, even when it's not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down a small tree! And you can use the hidden machine as many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it's learned. And I'd like to ask you a favor, too. There is a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that a Pokemon there called Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use GameSync to collect save files of various trainers. That's it? Okay. Uh, anyway, hello, you over here, what are you doing? Are you a trainer? Do you use the PC at Pokemon Centers? I'm Amanita. I maintain the system, box system. Do you want to know about the battle box? Uh, do you know about the battle box? Uh... Well, I've learned about it since this game, but sure, you can explain it. Impressive. Oh, I said yes instead of no. <laughs> if there's a Pokemon you often use in battles, you can register it in a battle box. Oh, she says it anyway. Okay, good. All right, yeah, there we go. Yay, battle box. Anyways. Okay, so first, before we actually go back to the Dream Yard to get some Dream Mist from this Muna Pokemon, I need to heal up my Pokemon, and I actually need to grab Patrat out of the PC. Because Patrat is going to be my cut slave, so I will be right back. Actually, you know what? Better yet, I will meet you back at the Dream Yard. Alright, here we are. We are back here at the Dream Yard. So, let's cut down this bush here with our newly acquired HM, thanks to Patrat. Hi, James. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon, too? Uh, okay, Beyond. Thanks. Just, you know, cut in front of me. <laughs> Get it? Cut in front of me. Okay. I'm done. Hey! Did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come on! Let's go see! Alright, Bianca. Follow me! Oh, wait! We found you, Muna! Come on, come on! Make some Dream Mist! Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma! We battle day and night to liberate Pokémon from foolish humans! What are we doing? 
the Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Come on, spit out that Dream Mist! You're kicking a Pokemon to give it off Dream Mist? That's mean! Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So, on that note, we are going to rescue your Pokemon from you! Wah! Don't hurt James! This battle theme is lit. We are challenged by a Team Plasma Grunt. He's going to send out a Patrat. And we are going to be leading off with Lillipup. Yeah, Lillipup's still in front. Okay. Like I said, we, we don't really want to rely on Tepig. Tepig's an official member of the team. So we don't really want Tepig to be overleveled before we even catch our first official team member. So, and that's not going to be for a little while longer. So we're going to want to keep Tepig at a fairly lower level as possible. All right, let's just take out this Patrat here with Lillipup use- Oh god, I didn't see he was using by Lillipup. Oh, Lillipup, no. Oh, man. Um, all right, Tepig, you can come on out. We gotta get revenge, Tepig. It's all about that revenge. Let's do it. Let's just burn this Patrat to a crisp. Let's do it. Fried Rodent coming on up. Wow, that gave off a lot of experience. Tepig's now level 13. Dang. Defense Curl. Uh, Tepig, unfortunately, we're not going to teach you Defense Curl. So uh, we'll, we'll give that up. We're okay without Defense Curl. We are pretty bulky, so. Uh, well, fairly bulky. Not like, not uh, snivy bulky, but you're bulky nonetheless. There we go. We've defeated the Team Plasma Grunt. Let's move on to the next one. Bring it on. Were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever. I'm next. Okay, so the train near my neighborhood decided it wanted to pay a visit while recording, and it's very loud and it does pick up on the mic, unlike other things that I ramble about, so you didn't really miss much, just me dealing like zero points of damage to Purloin here. So we're gonna switch on out to Tepic to finish the job in a more quick fashion. Although it just used Sand... great. Thanks for using Sand Attack when I send in my fresh Pokemon. Like, why? Why, why do you do this to me, game? Why do you gotta do this to me? I just want to get through this battle. Come on! There we go! One-shotted with Tepig! Was it really that hard, Pansage? We defeated the Grunt, yay! I can't... I can't believe we lost! But we have to obtain the Dream Mist! Come on, make with the Dream Mist! Knock it off! What are you two doing goofing off? We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokémon from foolish people! If you cannot fulfill your duties... Th this this isn't... gets us... When, he, when he's gathering followers, or gets us when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah. This is gets us when a plan has failed, and he is about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry so he can forgive us. What was that just now? 
that person called Getsis appeared all over the place, and it wasn't... It wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon... Oh! I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Did something happen? Oh, Fennel! Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna, and Musharna came, and it showed something like a dream? And then, Team Plasma... I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna, so, seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power, making dreams into reality, to save Muna. Which means... <gasps> Wait a second! Is this Dream Mist? With this, I can complete my research! You two, come to my house later, okay? Oh, how random was that? James, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm going to go look for the Pokemon we saw just now. So Bianca plans on getting a Muna, huh? Interesting. Well, there are a couple- uh, Oh my god, D- uh, Circle Pad, stop! Oh my god, I really should use the D- I really need to use the D-Pad. Oh, man, I'm driving myself crazy in this recording session. Oh my goodness. Patrat, no, not right now. I just want to pick up the items around this area, and then go back to Fennel's house, so... Let's- oh my god, please, wild poke- uh, Can we buy repel- I think we can buy repels at the Pokemart now that we have our first gym badge. I'm- I'm gonna pick those up. I'm gonna pick up some repels, because this is getting a little ridiculous. Although, we do run have higher odds into running into po- I- I took one step- I took one freaking step! I was about to say that you're more likely to run into Pokemon when you run through grass. I walked and I got it in the next patch of grass. Why? Why? Please! Patrat, stop! Do I need to bring in Young Goose to get rid of you? Can I bring Young Goose to Alola to get rid of Patrat, please? Uh, Young Goose into Alola? No, I meant... Can I bring Young Goose into Unova to get rid of... Wait, is there something behind here? Wait, there's something behind there, isn't there not? Oh, hey, Purloin. <laughs> this recording session is... The, the, it's the best. It's just the best. I say this almost every recording session I have now. Every time I have a long recording session and something ridiculous happens, whether it's in the actual episodes or it's just, like, me losing my mind on commentary, like, it's... I, I just love recording, man. Recording videos is the best. It re How did I miss my scratch? Did you use Sand Attack? Wait, did you even get Sand Attack? Oh, you do get sand. Okay. I was gonna say, why am I missing my scratches? Come on, let's not do this. Let's not, please. I want to try catching this Pearl Wayne to help complete my Pokedex. I'd like to run into a Muna as well. I don't think I'm going to, because Muna's kind of like a rarer encounter. Uh, so let's just throw a Pokeball and catch this thing, and then we can move on and get more items here. Although, actually, I kind of want to just get out of here and come back when I get repels, honestly. I don't think there's really anything too important here, item-wise. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna follow through, I'm gonna go grab... I'm gonna finish off the Dream Yard here. Let's collect, 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 collect. Uh, I'm what I- I'm what I took two steps. I took two steps. Why? Why am I running into Pokemon over and over again? Why? <laughs> Can I just please? Thank you. Okay, yay, look at this. We d There is an item over there. Oh, I missed out on an- Ah, uh, we'll get that on our way back. We'll get it on the way back. If we can, we'll get it on the way back. Oh my god, a repel! Thank you! Oh my god, I'm gonna spray you once I'm done. 
with this place. Oh my god, thank you, Rappel. Thank you. What are you? You are a potion. Okay. All right. Uh, is Pansage level 12? Right? Pansage is 12? Yes. Okay. So, uh, once we get here to the stairs, uh, let's wait until we're over- Okay. We're in the- we're step- we have one foot in the grass right now. Let- oh, the repel was at the very top. All right. Spray the repel. Our only repel. Spray it. And <laughs> I'm gonna waste the repel right immediately. And go over here, because I think we can get that poke- Yes, we can! Yay, hole in the fence! It is an X defend. Okay. However, there's this cone right here blocking off another part of the Dream Yard that we can't access right now until much later on. So, we will leave that alone for now. And now I need to heal up my Pokemon again! And I need to drop off uh, Purloin and Petrat into the PC. So, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Pokemon all healed up. Oh, we need to stop at Fennel's house. I forgot. Let's... Oh my... Circle Pad, what are you do? I've played too much Smash on the 3DS. My Circle Pad does... My Circle Pad has a mind of its own. Oh my god. Okay, Fennel, we're here. What do you need to talk about now? Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist. And now I can collect save files of various trainers. Thank you very much! As a token of my appreciation, I will give you this Sea Gear to use! The Sea Gear is a device related to communications, such as infrared or Nintendo Wi Fi connection, which is dead! Anyway. And there we go, we have obtained the Sea Gear! And now. Uh, no, we won't turn it on. That is okay. The bottom screen isn't naked anymore! Yay! If you want to turn on the Sea Gear, touch the power symbol at the bottom right of the screen. Then, after turning on the power, if you touch the question mark icon at the bottom right of the screen, you can read about the Sea Gear. About GameSync, I'd like to explain a little more about the system to collect trainer save files. Do you have time to learn more? Sure, why not? I'd have nothing more important to do. Now, GameSync can retrieve memories of sleeping Pokemon using Dream Mist. That's right, we can collect save files of trainers from all over the world. What's more, we learned if you use GameSync to make a Pokemon sleep, it will have dreams. Then when you wake that Pokemon up, when you wake up that Pokemon, its dream becomes the reality in a space called Entralink, in the middle of the Unova region. Isn't GameSync interesting? If you like, please send your save file. I've summed up the details in the PC, so please check it if you have the chance. Oh, Trainer, thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is from me. Please take it. Don't be shy! And we have received the Pal Pad! Remember those, kids? You can register your friends in your Pal Pad. After you register, you can link with those friends over Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, which is dead, to do all kinds of fun things. You can trade Pokemon, challenge your friends to battle, and so on. Let me give you a quick how-to on Reg- Oh my god! Can we please not di- Okay, I get- Yes, Wi-Fi's dead! Can we move on? Don't remind me that Nintendo DS Wi-Fi connection is dead. Thank you, and please. Anyways... <laughs> oh god. Okay, well, uh, that is actually going to do it for this episode of Pokemon White. A very, very... Interesting episode to say the least. I stumble again all over my words. That's the thing about doing Pokemon Let's Plays. There's so much happening on the screen at once and stuff to explain, like giving off stats for a gym leader's Pokemon, for example, that I just fumble over myself and my commentary is so messy, but so hilarious at the same time. Uh, anyways, like I probably should have waited to save my, uh, 
to save my Pokemon. It's not that dire. Uh, to heal up my Pokemon until the after we visited Fennel, because we're ending off the episode right now, and I like ending off by going to Pokemon. Anyway, next time on Pokemon White, we will make our way to the next route, hopefully arrive in the next city. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but with that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. As I was editing this episode, I thought to myself how stupid I was because I didn't talk about Fennel's importance in Pokemon Black and White. Although, really, she's not too important when it comes to the actual games themselves. She was more important in another feature and then the minor part that's included in the games. But we'll talk about that right now. Um, if I were to divulge into all the information available on this topic, it would probably take 20 to 30 minutes, so I'm gonna condense it down to pretty key components of the information I have found, but if you want to view detailed information on what I am about to, what I am about to talk about, if I can use words properly, uh, you can go down below and there will be a link included to the article related to this topic. So, enough actually talking and dancing around the name of the topic, how about we, uh, how about we officially divulge information, only a couple bits of information, into Dr. Fennel and her role in the Pokemon Dream World. So, the Pokemon Dream World was available through the Pokemon Global Link website, which you might know if you've used it for Pokemon Sun and Moon, if you've been using it for, uh, wait, I already said Sun and Moon. If you used it in X and Y, and if you have been using it, in Pokemon Sun and Moon. There we go. I mixed the two <laughs> generations up there for a second, but uh, the Pokemon Dream World was available through the Pokemon Global Link from September 18th, 2010, all the way until January 14th, 2014. And during that time, you were the player was allotted one single hour. You were restricted to a single hour of playtime through the dream world. Now, in the dream world, you could befriend other players, you could earn points for items and stuff, you could grow berries because you cannot grow berries in any soil in the Unova region, and you could visit up to seven, uh, seven different areas, as well as playing mini games in order to befriend Pokemon, which would show up at the entry forest in the Entrolink in the middle of the Unova region. Now, a couple other things that I do want to mention, pretty neat things about the Dream World, is that a demo was available of the Dream World with Fennel, and the Muna that we rescued from Team Plasma at the Dream Yard, and that Muna is now under Fennel's ownership. If you've watched the uh, Pokemon Black and White anime, then you would already kind of know this, because Fennel did own a Muna, so there you go, put two and two together. Uh, anyways, something really cool that a lot of people may not know, uh, especially newer players, is that Pokemon gained hidden abilities starting in Generation 5. Uh, starting in Black and White, through the Dream World, Pokemon would have the chance of having their hidden abilities. Uh, if the Pokemon had a hidden ability at that time, then you could get the hidden ability on a Pokemon if you were to transfer that Pokemon from the Dream World and into a copy of Pokemon Black and White, get them through the Entry Forest with a special Pokeball known as the Dream Ball in the Entrolink. And one more thing that I do want to mention, it's a really cool tidbit, is that a scientist at the Devon Corporation in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald will allude to creating a device related to Pokemon Dreams. However, if you were to talk to that same scientist, I think it's the same one, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, that scientist will say that he was beaten to the punch from another scientist in a faraway region. So I like how they tied that together in the remakes to have Dr. Fennel and her work with the Pokemon Dream World be tied into the new universe 
of the remakes. But like I said, if you want more detailed information on the Pokemon Dream World, you can go to the link below. Uh, the link that is included down below. There we go. I'm, I skipped a couple words there. And yeah, you can find out more information about the Dream World. It was a really underrated feature. I only got to use it a couple times myself. Again, unfortunately, the Nintendo DS Wi-Fi stuff is down. Uh, the global link portion of the Dream World is down, which I don't know why they replace it every single generation. I mean, come on, you can keep that up, right? Come on. I guess because Wi-Fi on the DS uh, was no longer supported after May 20th of 2014. I think that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, enough about reminding myself that Wi-Fi is dead. That was pretty much a recurring theme throughout this episode. Uh, but for real, now that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon White. And next time, we'll do what past me said. So, with that, thank you for watching. And I will see you there.